do you found? to the next cave. Ooh, this one's pretty scary. Hello, little fella. Ooh, what have we got in here? Ooh, now I'm scared. <laughs> Big. Yeah, I wouldn't like to come. Ooh, he moves. I wouldn't like to come across him. <laughs> Ooh. Now you would be scared. This is what the fossils look like when they find them in the ground. Did you see the animals in here? Yep. Oh, so we crawl into a cave. Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> You're going backwards. <laughs> I was waiting for you to catch up. Huh. You gotta get... Uh, bloody hell. <laughs> We're too old for doing this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Excavating it all, mapping it all, all the different layers, pretty cool. So, you know, when you think about it, the, you know, sometimes you think about, um, you know, when the Aboriginals talk about their dreaming and their dream time stories, well, actually, <laughs> they actually were a relative a reality there really was giant snakes and serpents and stuff and it obviously was handed down through their relatives that um you know that those things were there and were existing in those places that they talk about not just a dream story so we're coming to the fossil hunters playground so the kids can be busy while you're Having lunch or something, there's a big serpent Big made snake out of, there. Out of rocks. rocks. Mm. So there's a pretty good playground here for the kids to yeah. have fun in. Have a picnic. Chairs and tables. Oh, there's all little caves down there. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Your turn. My turn. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's go for a slide, guys. Whee! <laughs> it's actually quite good. So <laughs> uh, we've come to the Stick Tomato Cave. I'm not sure exactly why they call it that. I think because it has a stick tomato at the entrance. There's a 
cave down in here. <laughs> yeah. This is pretty cool. So apparently they used to chuck like lo like logs and stuff down here to try and get in here to explore the cave. So that's how it got its name, Stick Tomato Cave. And also the, some of the vines that grow through here are like a bush tomato type, type of thing. Oh. oh yeah. This is like a cathedral here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. In the stick tomato cave, guys, you can do self guided tour. You're just welcome as long as you pay, get a ticket, and you can come in and walk around at your leisure. continues on. Let's go have a look down in here. Just keep going and going. Yeah. That stick tomato cave done and dusted. It's yep. a huge cave system. Like I'm glad that we did it. Did this cave. Um, we've. It's got a combination of both. So it's got like the wet and dry cave structures and that in it. So pretty awesome. Pretty and the self guided tour was really good. You can just yep. wander through at your own leisure, and the lights come on and off as you enter through each section. And it's really quite a big cave. It is. And it's part of the uh, Narra Court Caves National Park. Yep. So just go up to the um, visitor centre up there and you can pay and buy your ticket to come and enjoy the caves. Yep, a couple of different tours. So there's if, um, several caves in the area so you can pick which ones you want to do and you can camp here as well. So mm -hmm. pretty awesome. Guys, don't forget, if you like what you're seeing, give us a subscribe, hit the like button and the notification bell. See, See you later.